A A A A A call it to Ubers. What's up? All right, so today, happy early Christmas. So, I want to show you my new pool table. That's right, guys. I got a pool table. You guys definitely are not going to win. We, of course, we got the pool balls, Nietzsche holes, triangle, diamond, all five, minus pool sticks, including the bridge. We're going to get one of those sticks later. And yeah, the design is nice. And we've got also, I even got a ping pong cover up there. That's what we got. So I'm be cut, but that's not what we're going to be talking about. We're going to be talking about something. Sorry, my clothes. Sorry, my PJs are right there, kind of. So, guys, this is what I'm talking about. Shout out to Pete Webster Spry High School PE teachers for doing this. Um, this is a Tough Strike bowling set. It's made by Gopher. If you guys are a fan of Gopher, subscribe to Gopher on you. Subscribe. To, go to Gopher. Go to Gopher PE on YouTube and subscribe to him on lunch. And while you're at it, please hit the subscribe button button if you like this. But please do it in five seconds. Five. Four, three, two, one, and did you hit the subscribe button? And did you like the video? All right, let's move on to the let's get let's get started. All right, so this is the storage bag. It's this tough strike gun, which means so here's the ball. Oh, it's five pounds. I'll show you. So this is it. Come each. Okay, hold on. Yeah, hold on. So this is the bowling ball, and it contains two three finger hole patterns to accommodate all ages. So there's one. I think that's I don't know why there's a hole there and there's two like that there's two patterns to that and there's the logo look at that big five pounder right there five pound pounds of a bowling ball and then here I'll show you what the pins look like it looks the same as it does look at this you can squeeze it you can bend it you can twist it it's very soft on the painting right here on the neck which is that little strip there and this and these bowling sets are really expensive they're about $175 each if you can if you can afford them now, PE teachers, I highly recommend that if you do this unit, if, you, if you're like in a middle school like Willink or Spry or Schrader or Thomas, I kind of, if, if, if there are some bowling lovers out there, you can try to do a bowling unit, but I don't know if that's really a PE experience, but I'm just giving you a suggestion, so please respect my suggestion, okay? But that's not, but, but there's not just one thing. There's actually, I actually got a whole set. Ugh. Come on, get out. Come on. Oh, it's, it's stuck here. Come on, it's, come on, get out there, you little suckers. Come on. Give it a shake. I think that's all. Let me check. I can check. Nope. There's no. Alright, so this is the set here. And here's what the and here's how they sound like when they're knocked over. Okay, this is really quiet. They're actually the quietest noise is ready. Very quiet, right? Perfect for people when they're asleep. But I would suggest that you do this in a basement. But if you have a heavier ball like this one, this five pounder, I would highly suggest that you do it in a basement and stuff. Because, because, because think about, look, look how loud this sounds. Makes a little popping sound. So look, it's actually, actually really hard when it drops. A two and a half pound or a one pounder would be totally fine because they're lightweighted. I would highly suggest that, um, that, a, that a, five to seven year old kid uses a one pounder and a eight to nine and a seven to nine wait wait i'd say that backwards i meant four to six people four to kids four to six should use the one pounder uh seven to nine should use the two and a half pounder but ten people older kids who are ten and older like us use the five pounder this big one right here it does feel heavier than it thought it is but it's actually not that heavy it's actually about perfect size it's like it's only one pound short than the other ball at the regular bowling alley so I'm gonna place the tr I'm gonna place you guys on the pool table so I can get the view I'm just gonna place it where I can get the best angle here okay, I'm gonna go here thing I will put you guys right about I would say about I would put you guys right about there that should be good all right so we're gonna be we're gonna be pretty far back if you can't really see I'm sorry all right, so I'm gonna go ahead and set up the pins here. I'm gonna have to like keep walking over and stuff, but good thing I have a lot of fingers to carry a bunch at a time. Now this will, okay, so if you don't know how to set up bowling pins, it's really easy. All you have to do is just go one, two, three, four in the back, okay? All right, so four in the back, of, in the back. Now you take three more pins, and then you put them right in front front of them. One, two, and three. Now, 
do this, and uh, you guessed it, you guys. Take two pins and put them in front of the three pins. You guys are getting it, the use of this pattern. And of course, the last pin would go confront because it's called a head pin. Now, I obviously, I do like to teach you guys. And that's how you set up a 10 pin triangle. You see, if you, I wonder, see? All right, so there is the triangle right there. I'm pretty sure you guys can see it. Yep, you guys can see just fine. All right, so now even if I bounce the ball on the pool table, it does make a little vibration on the camera. All right, five pounds here. I'm gonna take my first shot, guys. I'm gonna take my first shot. And you don't have to be, and you can be so like hard on it because it's a tough strike. Here we go. Wow, I got a strike. Let's go. All right, so strike. It's it does sound super quiet when you knock them all over, but but you can still play it good in a really set them back, reset them all up. Now my grandma loves to set up bowling pins for me when I was a little kid. I used to, I loved bowling so much when I was a little kid. I'm gonna tell you for a real fact. And a funny fact is, I don't even know how to tie my own shoes. Isn't that crazy? I can't even tie my own shoes doing that. I need my, need my mom to help me, that is insane. I should learn, but I do know how to do a couple parts, so. I know how to, I know how to do the knot part, where just cross the laces and whatever. But we're not thinking about lunch, we're not gonna. All right, we're gonna get one more shot, and then we, and then you guys should be good from here. Now it can't, now dirty spots can get on the pins. Like you do see a little bit of dust bunnies on the pins because because they're on a, because we're on concrete, but that's the only safest place to play it. And sorry, but it's just like real bowling. And these pins, but it, what you saw on a video, it looked really small on video, but it's actually big in real, in reality. All right, we're gonna do one more shot and then we should be good from here. So here we go. Oh, I thought I was gonna get another strike, but I still got nine pins. Now, again, if you miss, if you get at least nine pins or lower on your first shot, then of course you get another chance. Even if you get a gutter ball, you get a second chance. But on the 10th, did you know on the 10th frame you get three? So if you get a strike on the first shot, on the 10th frame you get two more shots. Spare gives you an extra shot to see how further you get. Otherwise, the game is though. All right, let's try to pick up the spare here. I'm trying to aim super wisely here. Spare. All right, there you have it. There you have it, folks. There you have it. Now, guys, if you love bowling, please hit the like button and hit the subscribe button for more videos. Please smash the subscribe button. We are on the road to 300 subscribers, so please hit the subscribe button. Hit the notification bell. Share, share, share this video. And I'll and also and and yeah, that's pretty and that's pretty much it. Alright guys, I gotta go. Love you guys. Bye.